everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you my hair care routine and all the tips i can share with you to get healthy and long hair if you are new here on my channel i would love for you to subscribe i upload twice a week every wednesday and saturday and i upload all kinds of lifestyle girly disney and vlogs and of course you can also follow me on instagram and now let's get started with how i take care of this so first let's get started with the products I use. The shampoo I currently use is from L'Oreal El Vif. It's writing in Turkish but I will write it for you in the description box so you can check it out. This is a shampoo for dry hair which has I believe some oils in it. If you have long hair like me or you have dry hair, this shampoo is really great to take care of your hair. It makes it more soft and healthy. So I really love a shampoo that is for dry hair that makes it more soft. Then also once a week I use a silver shampoo and this is from Swatchkov and it's the Reflex Silver Shampoo. This shampoo is for people with blonde or grey hair. If you want a little bit more of a ash tone, not too warm color, I would recommend you use a silver shampoo once or twice a week. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this shampoo is quite purple, quite strong. You definitely need a shampoo that is quite pigmented, so quite uh, dark purple. Otherwise, it won't do anything for your hair. I will link some other shampoos that I think are great. Back in the Netherlands, I worked at a hair salon. I'm a hairdresser and there are some great uh, options out there if you like to maintain a gray or blonde color. The only thing I would say is that a silver shampoo makes your hair more dry. So don't use it too often and let it in about one, two minutes. Maybe if your hair is really yellow toned, leave it in for a little longer or you can also use it as a mask. If you mix this silver shampoo with a conditioner, you can use it like a mask. But be careful, of course, that it don't become really purpley. But also don't worry if that happens, then you just wash it with your normal shampoo. So it will rinse out. Then I picked up a new conditioner and this is again from Dove. I always use conditioners for, from Dove. Uh, the last time I got one with coconut, which you was maybe see in my empties video. But now I picked up one with avocado. The scent of this is really nice, it's really soft, not that strong. And again, it does an amazing job, it makes my hair really soft. So um, yes, I really love the Dove conditioners. Then now I will show you what I do once I come out of the shower. So I didn't do anything about my hair yet. This is just how it looks when I don't brush it quite tangly but also wavy. And the strange thing is that now once it's wet, it's quite wavy. But once I will brush it through, it will become completely straight. So if I come out of the shower, I will use a conditioner spray as well. And this one is again from Dove. Before you spray a conditioner in your hair, it's always important to give it a good shake. And then I just spray it in like this. Like that. Now that the spray is in my hair, I will be really carefully brush it through. If your hair is wet, you have to be careful with brushing it. Your hair can break more easily once it's wet. So just make sure you start at the ends of your hair and just carefully brush it through. And not, it doesn't have to be perfect because I go blow dry it now. So just give it a quick brush through now that i brushed my hair a little bit through i'm going to blow dry my hair if you go blow dry your hair make sure you use some protection or conditioner spray in your hair it will protect you from the heat As you can see, most of my hair is dry now and I will take you back to my setting so I will show you what I do next. Okay, so now that I blow dry my hair, it's almost dry. It's just a little bit damp still, but um, that's no problem for me because I'm not going to style it or anything. 
So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to part my hair and then again I'm going to brush it through. As you can see, most of my waves disappeared. Only at the back side I got some waves left. And I have to say my hair feels already really soft. Now that I brush my hair through, I'm going to use a oil in the ends of my hair. I'm using this oil from L'Oreal El Viv and I'm just going to get a few drops of this. Something like this. Now if you can see it, just one pump. Make sure you go nice through the ends of your hair, don't go too far up. And if you have a little bit of frizziness, you can just go like this with the oil. And as you can see, the ends are shiny and healthy. It doesn't look damaged at all. This is how I do my hair most of the times. And now I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks that I think are really helpful if you want to grow your hair. So the first thing is don't wash your hair too often. I try to only wash my hair two or three times in the week maximum. First I understand if you live in a hot country like me in the summertime, maybe you have to do it a little bit more often. Try to not wash your hair too often because if you wash your hair, it will only damage it. Your hair goes more quickly oily. Some people say to me, oh no, I can't do it. I have to wash my hair every day. But believe me, you can train your hair. The next tip that I have for you is to get regular trims. So make sure you go to the hairdresser at least twice a year. I go always in the spring and in the fall. So the ends just cut what's necessary. I guess just a few centimeters is enough. I hear always a lot of girls saying, oh no, I don't want to cut my hair, then it don't grow, but that's a lie. Your hair grows around uh, 12 centimeters every year. And if you go to the hairdresser twice a year and you just cut a centimeter or two, it still will grow. So ladies, make sure you get your trims at least twice a year. Then of course, if you are blonde like me and your natural hair color is quite dark, you have to bleach it. I would say make sure you don't bleach it too often. My natural hair color is not that dark, so I am lucky enough to just use a hair dye uh, and that will lighten up my hair already. I don't need to use a bleach. But if you need to use bleach, make sure you use something like Olaplex or something in it that will protect your hair. Perm and after bleach are the most damaging products for your hair. So make sure you ask your hairdresser to use some Olaplex or something that will protect your hair because if you bleach it too often or use damaging products it won't grow long it will only break and become more thin and it won't look nice so make sure you use something the next tip I have for you is don't use too much heat on your hair and if you want to curl or straighten your hair make sure you use some heat protection to protect your hair if I curl my hair, it stays normally maybe three days. If you also like to see a tutorial on how I do that, then uh, comment down below and I will film it for you guys. Like I already mentioned in the video, also make sure you don't brush your hair while it's wet. If you go with your brush really hard and your hair is still wet, it's so fragile. Make sure if you brush your hair, you start with the ends of your hair and then go up. But sometimes I see girls, they pull them hair so hard and it's really not good for your hair. So make sure if you brush your hair, you start with the end. And the last tip I have for you, if you are going to bed, make sure you braid your hair. If you make a braid or a top knot, your hair won't break that easily. If you lay on your pillow and you're turning, turning, it's really bad for your hair and it will break quite quickly. So make sure you braid it. Sometimes I make two braids or a top knot so it will protect your hair. So this was my hair care routine and my tips on how to get long hair. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys soon in one of my other videos. Bye.